Hi, my name is EJ Nisbeth. I'm a current student here at UVA's post back pre-med program. Not only am I a current student, but I'm also an admissions liaison, which means I get to help Susan and Jillian, our program directors, with coordinating student visits, info sessions, et cetera. Uh, the student liaison is one of the many student leadership positions that are available to interested students. So before we dive into some details about the program, one thing to note is that this is a program specifically for career changers. And that means, you know, this is for students who have had some exposure to healthcare, but haven't taken many of the prereqs, still need to take those, um, and haven't taken the MCAT yet. Um, this is in contrast to programs that are designed for academic enhancement, which we'll talk about a bit more on the next slide. But generally, if you're someone who's interested in pursuing, you know, osteopathic or iopathic medicine, um, you still need to take the MCAT. You haven't taken many of the prereqs before. Uh, you have a strong uh, undergrad academic record and you test strongly on standardized tests. Uh, this is probably a program to consider. So as I mentioned, you know, if you're looking for an academic enhancement program, that means that you're probably looking to improve your undergrad um, pre-med record. Um, you may repeat some of the prerequisites, but generally speaking, you take more advanced classes than the uh, intro level prereqs. Um, and then you're also looking to uh, kind of retake the MCAT and get a better score. Um, so while we've made that distinction, uh, it is important to note that sometimes for these career changer programs like UVA's, we do allow people who have taken the prereqs five plus years ago to join the cohort um, with the understanding that you'll likely uh, retake these courses um, and likely won't do many substitutions for uh, more advanced courses. So, you know, some of the features of the program are that, you know, primarily it's a one-year program and not a two-year program, like I think most uh, post uh programs are. Um, so within this 11-month window, you're taking, you know, two semesters of Gen Chem, both semesters of bio. Um, you're also taking organic chemistry, physics, and biochem. There's also a U.S. healthcare seminar that you take weekly, which is really great. That's what Dr. Powers, a uh, super knowledgeable, um, great guy, um, where we talk about some of the key issues in healthcare today and in the recent past. Then there's also um, a lot of opportunity for clinical volunteering um, and shadowing. Susan and Jillian do a great job with the advising for med school admissions. Um, which continues into the glide year. And then UVA's program also has some um, linkage agreements with medical schools. So on the class schedule, in the summer, you're focused on chemistry, Monday through Friday, you meet for lecture. Um, in the mornings, you'll have lab two to three times a week. And then in the evenings, there are optional homework review sessions. In the fall is when you start to add on more classes. So instead of just focusing on chemistry, you'll have three classes. So bio, organic, and physics, including those labs. And then you also have the US healthcare seminar. So this is an example of what the schedule looks like. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays will be for orgo and physics. Um, bio is usually on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then you'll have the healthcare seminar in the afternoon on Wednesday. The color coding just indicates that most of these classes are post back only classes. Bio is the only class that you take with undergrads as well. But that being said, on Thursday afternoons, there's a biology discussion for post back onlys where you get access to the bio instructor. Um, you know, exclusively for postbacks, where you can ask about homework, um, lectures, you know, past exams, upcoming exams, etc. So in that way, it feels like 
um, a class that's tailored specifically to the post back cohort. And then similarly, in the spring, um, we follow a very similar structured uh, schedule, but with the addition of biochem on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this is just a lecture, so no lab included in that. So academics at UVA, all of the classes take place on grounds with faculty from the College of Arts and Sciences. Um, each class has at least one TA that you'll have direct access to, um, and they're great um, from my experience. Um, Professor Grisham, who you see pictured here in the top right, he's the academic director for the post -bac program. You know, he has 40 plus years of experience teaching at UVA. He's available you know, from the summer all the way until spring for academic support. Um, and he works really hard with the faculty, with Susan and Jillian to make sure our exam schedule is conflict free and as smooth as possible. Here's Dr. Powers. Um, he has an MPH as well as an MD. Um, he's in charge of the US healthcare class where we meet once a week uh, in a seminar style to discuss you know, current events in healthcare, recent trends in healthcare, et cetera. Um, oftentimes he'll invite guest lecturers from across the US or you know, from UVA's medical center or the medical school. Um, and things we talk about are current events, you know, the financing of the U.S. healthcare system, racial and socioeconomic disparities in the healthcare system, and some pretty interesting bioethical case studies. Hello, my name is Isha, and I'm a current post student at the University of Virginia. Like EJ, I'm an admissions liaison, so I'm going to jump in here and walk you through some more important features of UVA's post pre pre-med program. So right off the bat, we have two amazing advisors and coaches, Susan and Jillian, who are available to you throughout the advising process. Together, they have over 30 years of experience in admissions and advising, and they're going to be who you work with closely to put together the meat of your application, the materials that you're going to submit to medical school. But they're also available to help with everything from mock interviewing to building a balanced school list to finding a glide year position and overall just being an informed applicant because that is what is equated with success here. So something that was really important to me when deciding what program I wanted to apply to and attend was access to advising at my convenience. And with Susan and Jillian, it's really easy to make appointments um, and they are willing to talk about big matters like applications, but also smaller or more individualized matters like balancing my challenging class schedule. So they're really wonderful advisors and a big part of what makes the UVA post -bac applicants so successful. So we have a lot of additional resources as well. Um, by joining UVA's pre-med post -bac program, you have access to medical school admissions requirements or the MSAR, which is a website that's really helpful for looking at school information and provides details about accepted students for a particular school, which is really helpful for building your school list. We also have access to official AAMC MCAT prep materials and UVA specific MCAT prep recommendations and guidelines. Something that's really cool is access to the alumni network and which is really helpful for advice regarding everything from academics to applications to medical schools and glide year positions. And overall, these are all amazing resources that you can take advantage of to get the most of your time at UVA. So something that you've probably been wondering about is what is the clinical volunteering situation like at UVA? Well, most post -bac students volunteer at either the UVA Health System or the Charlottesville Free Clinic. And getting started with volunteering is really simple through the program, which provides program-specific information sessions and sign-up opportunities. So you don't have to go far out of your way to find a regular volunteering position. On screen, we've listed some details about each opportunity, as you can see, and both options have a wide variety of positions available that target different interests that you might have or different skill sets. Those with more health or medical experience, like EMTs, can volunteer in more hands-on roles at the Charlottesville Free Clinic. And you aren't limited to these volunteering locations or opportunities, but these are the ones that are super simple to get involved with and provide that invaluable hands-on experience in clinical settings. 
So what's it like to be a PBPM student at the University of Virginia? Well, we have what's called a residential learning community. So all classes in our program are on grounds or on campus with faculty members from the College of Arts and Sciences. So you get that full UVA experience with access to university libraries, support services, fitness centers, and sporting events. You also will receive, upon joining the program, a UVA Health Systems ID badge, which allows you access to UVA hospitals and the Health Sciences Library. So this is really helpful for shadowing and volunteering. But I also just really like studying in the medical school library because it's often less crowded than the undergrad libraries. And it makes me feel aligned with my goals. It's a really beautiful space as well. So shifting gears a bit, let's talk about Charlottesville, which would be your home at the UVA post -bac program. The program is proud to call Charlottesville its home, and it's a beautiful city with an excellent combination of restaurants, arts, activities, shopping, and nature. It's about two hours south of Washington, D.C., and one hour west of Richmond, Virginia. It's close to Shenandoah National Park and the Blue Ridge Mountains, so there are a lot of opportunities for hiking and long walks with beautiful scenery. There's really excellent food and drinks here. I love eating out and haven't come close to exhausting the variety of restaurants and just cafes and coffee shops here. Um, there is amazing ones near and far from campus. My personal favorites are Grit and Shenandoah Joe's. It's also a great spot for live music. So Dave Matthews has a special connection to Charlottesville and he can be spotted around town at different concerts throughout the week. There are a lot of concerts at the Ting Pavilion in the historic downtown mall, which you can see in the image on screen. Um, and that's within walking distance of the campus. So there's a lot to do there. There's movies, music, food, hiking, wineries, breweries, art, history. Pretty much whatever you wanna do, you can find it in Charlottesville. And whenever my friends visit, there's truly no shortage of things for us to do, which is really nice. So let's talk about where do UVA students go after leaving the program? As you can see from this list, the program has a great track record. 95% of students receive at least one acceptance into medical school and over 250 students have entered medical school through our program's history. This is a small sample list and you can find the complete list on the website. Something that's also really cool is that many of these students are present in the current alumni network and are really happy to share their experiences with current students. So I highly encourage you to reach out to alumni to get their advice on whatever might be on your mind at any given moment. The ideal candidates for the UVA PBPM program have little to no science background have a successful undergraduate GPA, they have strong quantitative scores on either the SAT, ACT, or GRE, and have explored the medical profession through clinical experiences or shadowing and have some knowledge of what the realities of a medical profession are. They're intent on pursuing an MD or DO degree, and they have a desire to learn and work collaboratively because we have a cohort style program, which is basically a small group of students going through the program together and working together to achieve their goals. We really look for people who are interested in collaborating with others and leaning and providing resources to their fellow classmates. So here are several ways to determine if this is the best program for you. First off is the AAMC post -Bac database, which has over 250 programs with custom search features to help you determine what the best program might be for you. That's the best place that our advisors recommend to look to see what your options are and what the best fit for you might be. We also have post -Bac cast which is sort of a common application service that is used by over 50 programs, including the UVA post -Bac program. And that's where you would submit your application um, within the service, you can search for career changer programs or academic enhancer programs or both. Just a reminder that the UVA program is only a career changer program. And our applications open from mid-August to mid-February, and we interview qualified candidates either for in-person interviews or over Zoom. So that concludes our presentation. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about our program. I'm really enjoying my time here so far. I'm learning a lot and exploring my passion for medicine and academics in the best way possible, learning at a pace that suits my goals. If you have any questions, please reach out to the email address on the screen, postback at virginia.edu, and Susan and Jillian will do their best to get back to you promptly. Finally, we'd like to share some past and present student experiences, including those of mine and EJ. 
and we'll let you browse those at your own pace. So overall, have a wonderful day and thank you so much and good luck with your application process.